Hello everyone, welcome back to Budget Scenery Workshop. I am feeling 100% better, which is awesome. I hope everyone is keeping well and staying safe. So, this week's build, um, while I was, you know, a little bit you know, not 100% the last couple of weeks, I was playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I really like the look of the, you know, the ancient Greek houses. So I thought I'd, you know, try and recreate them. Something that would just, you know, sit on my little, uh, next to my PS4 while I'm playing, just a, as a little visual bit of interest. And it ends up, I think it ends up looking pretty cool. So what I use for this, um, it was mainly foam core board, which I then coated in, I had some of this spare sandpaper, which I thought would give it a pretty cool texture. Um, later on, I, I would go over that just to give it a bit of different texture all over it. But um, yeah, I, I posted some of my um, early work in progress on Instagram and Reddit just to get some feedback. And yeah, it it was a, a couple of people gave me some good feedback and said, yeah, it would look better with a bit more texture. And I agreed. So, um, I actually got out the chipboard and I purchased this off Amazon. I think it was about $9.99. And, um, but you can get this you know, from the back of notepads, I believe. Like the big like artist pads or just generic notepad. And yeah, it was very useful for a base. And um, if you've played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, um, which I'm sure some of you have, <laughs> you'll um, you'll you'll hopefully anyway you'll hopefully get the get the image of what it looks like. And um, what I thought would look cool was in most of them they have you know it's basically a square. Then it has. Um, supports on the roof uh, a ladder to get up to said roof a little hole there the only thing I didn't make was like a ladder but you know so and then they also have like a little lean-to where where I observed in the game that people would like sit outside and eat and just sit around a fire and stuff so that's what I made here and to tidy up the sides just added a few coffee stirrers, then more uh, chipboard for around the sides of the roof. And also, what I have noticed uh, whilst checking out my analytics for my channel is that 60% of viewers on my videos aren't subscribed, which is a real shame. So yeah, why not drop me a sub? And then don't forget that notification bell. You never miss a thing. Uh, I also, I am still taking uh, build requests. So if anyone ever have a, has a build request, drop it in the comments. I'll add it to my little book that I have. And when I don't have, you know, a build in mind, I will get out the book and do a sub request build. So here I am putting the roof together. Um, it was sturdy enough, you know, I used hot glue, but visually I just wanted to add some, you know, rope hanging from the sides to make it look like that's how it was all tied together. And I did the same for the little lean-to. Well, I did have some fabric that I was going to use for the for the roof, but I thought, yeah, not everyone would have. You know, this the uh, fabric that I had, so I just used paper in the end. I mean, you'll, you'll see. And uh, obviously you have to have the <laughs> obligatory spot to leap from. So this is, um, if you've ever seen a, cha a channel called uh, Luke's APS, or I believe it's called Geeks Gaming Scenics, or Service, um, they made a uh, like a texture paste which was basically just uh, sand brown paint 
and like a, a poly filler. And it just makes a really good mud-like texture. It sets really hard. So once that was done, uh, at first you may think, well, that looks like really bright. <laughs> but um, yeah, there, there was a method to this. And, uh, interestingly enough, uh, whilst playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, I discovered that, um, like traditionally, the statues and you know buildings, they weren't all you know just plain. They were all brightly coloured, like specifically the the statues and stuff. So yeah, you do learn stuff from playing video games. Yeah. So if anyone ever says video games aren't educational, you can crack them. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just mixed up a few different uh, yellows and browns to give it a really dirty colour. And again, I would go over this while it was still damp to kind of mix it all together and just yeah, make it look more weathered. So for the roof, I, well, the ceiling, I painted it kind of creamy colour. Then I mixed in a little dark brown, again, just to make it look weathered and like people have been, you know, walking up in there. And And for the sides, it was a kind of very dingy blue. Again, all these colours will be darkened down once I add my black wash. And now you can see me just dabbing on like a dark creamy colour while the uh, yellows and the green brown mix was still wet just makes it look very dirty and weathered once it's all mixed in and for the I'm gonna have to get a better light for downstairs um, for the poles I just painted them brown when I'm making scenery like this I use all um, just cheap acrylic paints then just going over everything with my homemade black wash uh, here, uh, the paper I use is from a big artist pad, so it like holds the um, water very well and won't break apart. I just soaked it in a little PVA, uh, water, and some ink. I just want it very colourful, but again, I would go over this once it was dry and give it a black wash. And here is the final result. So please do let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And if you would like to support the channel, you can do so via Patreon. The links will be down in the comments and the description below. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye for now.